This short tutorial is about Publisher 2007. This versatile program takes us a significant step beyond what we would normally use a word processing program for. Publisher is what we would choose to use when we want to create a publication for print, such as a multi-page newsletter or annual report. Publisher opens on this Getting Started page. On the left hand side, it provides us with templates for various publication types. On the right hand side, it lists recent publications we have created with the program, allowing us convenient access to use them as templates or to update or edit them. We will not use this menu page, so we will close it off with a small black cross at the top right hand side. This brings us to a window that will be familiar to pre-2007 users of Microsoft Office. We can start compiling a simple document immediately. Simply click on the text box icon, then left click again at the desired starting point and holding down the left mouse button draw the crosshair down across the page to put a typing space and a blinking cursor on the page. That will give us a document of the kind which we might normally use Word for, such as correspondence. We can change the page orientation to landscape view by clicking on the change page size button selecting the parameters we want and then clicking OK. A big advantage of Publisher is that we can easily resize page components by dragging on the little handles on the corners. Or we can rotate them by holding the cursor on the green handle and swinging it right or left. We are going to take advantage of some of the more advanced features of Publisher. We are going to develop a booklet. The first step is to go to File, then Page Setup, then Blank Page Sizes, and double click on the Menu Item Booklets, then double click on the option A4 Booklet. A little window advises that this action will automatically insert pages in groups of four. Then click Yes. At this point the bottom of the window shows the first page highlighted. Then pages two and three with a fold line between them. And then page four which will be the other half of page one on an A3 sheet of paper. To best print such a booklet, we would use a commercial printer using a machine that prints A3 paper on both sides. If we go now to Insert, Page, OK, we will attach another four A4 sheets, again representing both sides of an A3 sheet. Note again at the bottom of the window the new pages 4 and 5 have a fold line between them, as have pages 6 and 7. The printer will now produce an 8 page booklet on two sheets of A3 paper printed on both sides. It is customary on A4 pages of a booklet to print into two columns. To do this, go to Arrange, then Layout Guides, then Grid Guides, and set columns at 2, then click OK. Now text can be entered. Go to the text box icon, click, then drag and drop onto a page following the layout guides. 
A blinking cursor will appear at the top ready for typing. The default font size is 10 point, but font face and size are easily changed from the drop down menus. Images can be inserted anywhere on a page, either inside a text box or outside. Go to Insert, then Picture clip art or from a file, browse files to select one and double click on it or click insert. The picture can be dragged into any position by selecting it with the cursor and dragging it to the desired place. A line border can be added to the picture. Highlight the picture and then select a line from the line border style and the border will appear around the picture. If the picture is resized, the border will resize with it automatically. Once all the pages are completed with their text and images, go to File, Save or Save As. If the finished document is going to a commercial printer, to take full advantage of an A3 fold printed on both sides, all components on each page must be locked in place. Locking or grouping page components is simple. Left click on an item like a text box and then holding down the shift key, click progressively on each additional text box or image until the little handles appear on every corner. A double box icon will appear at the bottom of the page. Clicking on that icon will group all the objects. Clicking on it again will ungroup the objects. Objects grouped can't be moved, resized or deleted without affecting every other object on the page. Text within boxes, however, can be deleted or edited. Often text will overflow boxes and you can choose where it overflows to. A small symbol will appear at the bottom of a text box indicating an overflow. Then create a new text box on the page where you want the overflow using the text box icon. Go back to the overflowing text box, highlight the starting text box and look for a small chain link at the top of the window. Click on it and then go to the new text box and hover over it. The chain link will change to a jug icon and you simply click anywhere within the new text box the overflow text will be inserted. Sometimes the overflow text will not be placed in a page immediately following, but somewhere further on. You can have a small footnote directing the reader to the correct place in the document. To do this, highlight the starting text box, then go to Format Text Box, then text box and then tick continued on page and then OK. Next highlight the continuing text box. Then click on format text box then text box and then tick continued from page and then OK. Before leaving this topic, 
we should also touch on creating a small format booklet. Instead of four pages being created on an A3 sheet, we can create them on an A4 or letter size sheet. Each page would be half an A4 size sheet laid in landscape view. This is a more convenient size for mailing. Up to 28 pages or 7 sheets can be created and stapled together down the centre line without undue overhang of the middle pages. A document in that format can also be printed on a home printer provided the printer is set to automatically print both sides and to flip the second side. To start, go to File, then Page Setup blank page sizes, booklets and double click on the A4 booklet in landscape view. Change the page width to 14.9 centimeters. Now the pop-up will advise that automatically inserted pages will be in groups of four. Click Yes. You will note from the ruler that page 1 is 21 centimetres high and 14.9 centimetres wide. Pages 2 and 3 together are about 29 centimetres wide. Together they are the same as an A4 page in landscape view. Note that in this format it is not customary to print two columns per page. This ends the tutorial.